Hi everyone, welcome to uh, this video and in this one I'm going to show you how to uh, run Unity for the very first time and how to actually start getting to know its interface and the, the certain tools and functions associated with Unity. So like I said, hopefully you um, gave Unity a download and as well an install. To install Unity you literally just double click the, the installer and it will install for you. Um, you just uh, walk through the wizard. It's very straightforward. So to run Unity for the first time, um, I'm a Windows 8 here, so I'm going to find my uh, Unity, which is this guy here. And if it is your, if you have been in Unity before, or you, or you've already got a project, all you need to do is before you click on the button, just hold down the Alt key, A L T for Alt. It's right beside your Space key. You hold down Alt and you click Unity. And what this will do is it will bring up the project wizard. You'll see that I'm on version 451. Use maybe on version 454. And um, there's not a big uh, difference in the versions. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our project in here. Okay. We're all starting from scratch here. So we're going to go to create new project. And mine is going into my C drive. User Scott documents. Um, which is pretty much bringing me into this directory here. I'm on two screens, hence the swiping. Um, and then inside documents, we're going to make a, um, this is going to be the name of our project, okay? It defaults to new Unity project, but in game development, it's really, really important that you keep to a really decent naming standard. So we're going to go with dual stick shooter. And I'm just using, um, I'm not using any spaces for this. You can if you wish, but um, just when I tend to work, I don't, okay? Um, not for this kind of thing. So dual stick shooter. And then there's an option to import some packages. We're not going to import any packages just yet, okay? And the other important thing that you make sure is ticked is the 3D option, okay? Um, because uh, last year, Unity got the 2D toolkit um, on board, so that's just a new option in there. So with that, we're going to cr click on Create. And this is going to create our project, a very blank project. So your interface may be very different from this. I'm going to reset mine, so just ignore this for one second. I'm just going to go into Window, Layouts, and Revert. So this may be the default layout that you guys get, okay? Um, so this is Unity itself. This is the, the toolkit, the game engine, okay? I'm just going to hide my Steam friends here because this is kind of annoying. I apologize. So um, I'm just going to explain what we have here. At the top left, you have the file and um, kind of the, the context menus that you get on any Windows um, applications. Um, on a Mac, it'll be fairly the same. So you have file. You can create a new scene, which is a level. You can open levels. You can make a new project or open projects. And also build settings. These are the kind of final output of your, your game. <coughs> Excuse me. Then under edit, we have our typical undo and redo, which is bound to the Control and Z, Control and Y keys. You can cut, copy and paste objects, very easy. You can duplicate and delete objects, of course. Um, frame selected is for kind of getting an object into view. The other ones we're not going to worry too much about just yet. But um, certainly undo, cut, copy and paste, duplicate are all very handy. It's a good idea to learn those keyboard shortcuts. They're very universal, so Control Z for undo, uh, Control X for cut, Control C for copy, and Control V for paste. And of course, um, to delete is Shift and Delete, although Delete usually works as well. Um, under assets is where we can actually um, create folders. Um, we can import assets such as 3D models and <coughs> excuse me, textures, so on and so forth. But again, we'll go into this in more detail later on when we actually need to, to do it. Then we have game objects. Game objects are literally objects that will be placed into your view, into your game. Under component are like kind of modifiers. We can say we have a light, we can add some audio to it, or if we have a character, we can add some physics to it. Window is just for the kind of windows that you would see in Unity. And at the moment, our layout is set to the, the factory settings, which is what you see here, okay? And we'll look at actually how to <coughs> how to rearrange this, um, this view. And of course, you have help, some help screens, which isn't really important. And um, one thing to note is if it was your first time using Unity, you would have had to sign in as well and activate either your, your free or pro version of Unity. Um, I didn't get that option because I've used this uh, many times now. So let's just explain what all these kind of um, windows are. At the left hand side you have the hierarchy view. 
and the hierarchy view is essentially just a list of objects that are in your scene. A scene is also the same as a level. So this is your scene view. It's what's in your, your level. Okay. And the hierarchy view lists all the objects in it. By default, you have what's called the main camera, which is where your game will be viewed from. When we click the main camera, it will also select it in your scene view. Just going to click off that for the time being. To navigate our scene, this is our scene, our game view. To navigate inside, it's recommended that you use a, a mouse with a, a middle mouse button, of course. Most um, mice have that, if not every single mouse in the world has that. Um, so to, to pan, to kind of move the camera, the scene camera that is, we just click and hold the middle mouse button, click and drag. This is to pan, and you notice that you get a little kind of hand icon. And this simply just pans your view. To rotate the view, we hold down the Alt key, which is beside space, ALT for Alt, and then you left click on the mid or on the left mouse button, and that will rotate your camera like so. So this is good whenever you want to go around objects, if you want to navigate around the place. So that's Alt and left mouse button while clicking and dragging. By default, we have this nice grid in our game or in our scene. This is just to kind of tell you exactly where you are so you don't get lost. Um, to turn off the grid we can go into gizmos and turn off grid but then you kind of you get lost um, where the ground floor is so it's always recommended to show that grid. To uh, zoom in and out we hold down the alt key and we click and hold while dragging with the, the right mouse button and that will let us click and drag. Okay so panning is middle mouse button, rotating is alt and left mouse button and to zoom in is Alt and Right Mouse Button. Okay. Um, another way of controlling the viewport is also by holding down the right mouse button means you can look around like you're in a like you're in a first person shooter. And if you use the WASD keys, you can then move like it was a typical first person shooter. The longer you hold down a move key, the faster the camera goes, which is a bit strange, but you'll get used to it. So that's holding the right mouse button while using the W, A, S and D keys. So that's a wee bit on the hierarchy, which is a list of all the objects in your scene. And also a wee bit on navigating around the scene view. <coughs> so let's talk a wee bit now about project. Project is basically all the assets that go into your game. An asset is just an object. It's not an object that's in your scene, it's an object that's in your kind of library of objects, your kind of tool bench, okay? So inside here, inside your assets panel, you may have things like 3D models, textures, audio files, um, programming scripts, so on and so forth, materials. And these are all the objects that can actually be then dragged into your scene, okay? So this is the library, your kind of, your, your workstation, all the objects that you have collected for your game. And then these are all plugged in to your scene and also your hierarchy view. So then these are games or these are objects that are actually active in your game. Then you have the inspector and the inspector panel is essentially um, properties for any object that you have in your scene or your project view. So <clears throat> say you're clicked on a on a box, just a, a simple 3D box. In the inspector you might get options for the size of the box, where it is, its rotation what materials may be applied to it. A material is just how the object is shaded or colored. Um, you may have options for an audio source. Maybe there's going to be a source of audio. Maybe an audio is going to emit from this box. So things like that. It's just the properties of that object. Okay, so let's then talk a wee bit about uh, rearranging the viewport. And I don't. you don't have to go with what I'm going to choose, but um, <clears throat> for my way of working, I much prefer this kind of layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag right here in the little line between hierarchy and scene. I'm just going to make my hierarchy a bit smaller. I'm going to make my inspector a bit smaller. This is to get more real estate here with the, the scene view. And then I'm going to click on the project tab, this little tab icon. Think of like a tab in your, your, uh, your internet browser. And we're going to move this. We can move this to anywhere we wish. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to move it right in here beside Inspector, not here, but right here. And basically I have my project, my Inspector, and we have our console. And what the console is, it literally displays um, 
messages about the game's performance and errors you may have. We're just going to click that down. Or what I might also do is I'm just I'm just going to right click the console and actually I'm just going to close this tab. So now I've got a lot of space here. So I've got my hierarchy, I've got my project view and I've got my inspector. The other thing I like to do is in a newer version of Unity they made this two project layout which I'm not a big fan of. Um, you can try it for a bit if you wish but what I do is I right click the project tab and I just choose the one column layout and that suits me to the ground very easily. Okay. And that's all it is. Um, <clears throat> so that's kind of a wee bit on the the interface of Unity, how um, how it all works. So we have hierarchy, you've got your scene view, project, and inspector. We also have the play button. So we press play. This is going to switch over to our game view, which has been rendered or shown through a camera. Currently, there's nothing happening, so we just get a blue background. We can pause the game, or we can also hit play to turn it off. And so that's a wee bit on the, the interface of Unity. In the next video, we're going to look at actually how to place objects in a scene. Thank you.